Equity International is a private equity firm, an investment firm that was co-founded and is chaired by Sam Zell, the well-known real estate investor. The primary goal of this company is to invest in real estate assets outside the U United States, mostly in the emerging markets. I caught up with Thomas McDonald. He's the uh, chief strategic officer at Equity International, and we talked about the state of the global commercial real estate market. We take a very, I would say, macro approach and have pillars that our uh, business is built on, the emergence of the middle class, the evolution and the, the institutionalization of real estate markets and inefficiencies both on the capital and debt side. And so where those factors exist is where we invest. So the turmoil of the Middle East and, and bin Laden are, are moments for sure that have to be taken and, and studied, but they don't. It's not clear how they'll change some of the macro trends that drive our investment decisions. Now, your CEO was in to talk to us a couple of months ago, but he, he did say those macro investments were maybe holding, keeping them, you guys, from hold, you know, holding off on investing in the Middle East. I mean, is that still kind of the plan at absolutely, this point? Absolutely, absolutely. That's a region where we're, you know, we have the yellow, the yellow light hold uh, until things resolve themselves, and, and it, uh, I would say the future is a little bit clearer. But at the same time, there are great places still around the globe to invest, and Let, we're focused there. And let's talk about where you're investing. I know Brazil, you have a lot of exposure. Is that continued to be you know, one of the key, key aspects of your portfolio? And where else are you investing? We are uh, heavily invested in Brazil today. We've been traveling and studying the market in Brazil for over 10 years. We began investing in 2005. Uh, most of our existing portfolio is in Brazil. Um, and yet we're still very excited about the opportunities that, that exist in Brazil. In the rest of Latin America, we're focused on Colombia as well. We like some of the macro trends and the opportunities that we see there. And we see Colombia as being earlier in the stage than Brazil. Brazil has now evolved and is certainly on, on a lot of people's radar. Colombia still is, is early from that perspective. As we see these developing middle classes, I get that as a play. I mean, so what are you then investing in? Is it the, is it the usual suspects, meaning uh, I don't know, is, it, is it multifamily dwellings? Is it retail? Tell me where specifically within Brazil and these other, other markets. Yeah, the, it really, the, the, the emergence of the middle class extends across pro, um, property sectors. So you've got home building, mainly affordable entry level, but also mid middle income home building for sale. You've got retail, which are, are in the case of, of Brazil and Latin America, existing shopping centers, large regional mall from a U.S. perspective, and yet burgeoning other uh, retail sectors as well. There's the finance arm, mortgage origination and penetration is very nascent in places like Brazil, so there's an opportunity there. Logistics and distribution, given the lack of appropriate infrastructure and the growth of consumer buying power, goods have to move around, and so there's an opportunity on the div distribution side as well. What about Asia? And I think about China specifically. Where are you guys? I think Sam Zell, who, who co-founded your company, said something like, it's easy to get into China, not necessarily so easy to get out. Where are you guys in, in terms of China? We were, we've were we got two existing businesses today. We, we had previously sold another residential home builder that we had in China. Um, but we're in the residential sector and the warehouse logistics distribution center. And we're, we're monitoring those investments and looking for, for ways to grow them. Um, and I would say we're looking at other investments as well, but have a, Growing I'd say, a base. patient stance towards China right now. There's a lot of liquidity there, which is great, um, but we're uh, I'm looking at it with a cautious eye in terms of new investments. One last question in terms of financing. How easy is it, is it to do in this market? In China, the government controls the financing. So from a, from a real estate perspective generally and a residential perspective, they hold the cards. They also control the land. So they have a very tight control on the fluidity and amount and flow of mortgages. What about around the world in terms of financing, especially coming off the crisis? It varies, it varies country by country. Places like Brazil, there's a lot of financing available. Mexico has a great model, especially on the affordable entry level segment. Eastern Europe is, is developing as well. So it really depends case by case.